I always took the acting very personal, like whoever I'm working with. Yeah. Yeah. Like my mentality, it's like, no, no, no. It's me against you, and I'm going to take you to school. That's why when De Niro and I worked together, uh, it didn't go very good. Yeah, I, 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 it's one of my favorite films, actually, Angel Heart. Yeah, but he wanted me to bend down and kiss his ass, and he met the wrong guy. <laughs> because I, I read something about it. Um, the, the director, Alan Parker, he said that it was like a sparring session when you two would share scenes. You know what? <laughs> He's a bit. He's a and a crybaby. He's a and a crybaby. Did you ever talk boxing with De Niro, considering Raging Bull? Raging, raging my. <laughs> oh God! No, he's a he's a. Early in the in the conversation, you met, you talked about you know growing up, tough upbringing with four older step brothers were all tough on you. Do you feel like well, two, I know two of them? Two of them were all military boxing champions. They were real tough. <laughs> Would you feel like that adversity growing up, you know, that hard upbringing, would you have had the success you ha you've had in life in boxing and in movies no. without no. it? No. Yeah. No. It's like when I was doing the movie with De Niro, and he kept crying about what I was doing to Alan Parker, right? There was a moment where he, he bitched a little too much. And then I remember, I didn't lose my temper or anything. I looked at him right in the eyes. And I looked right through him. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, listen, you you ain't been where I've been. You don't, you haven't walked in my shoes. There's no way you're gonna win this. There's no way. You'd have to kill me, wake me up and kill me again. So you know, I, when I do the acting, I do make it personal. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. but acting is very much like a fight. If you're fighting a guy that's physically strong, you know, like a, you know, like a big left hooker, you know, that's got power over you, you don't go out and try to match him with power. You know, you finesse him and, and let him shoot his load, and then you start picking them apart, as you would do with this hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's the same way. You gotta, you gotta have a game plan. If he goes this way, it's like, if you say you're gonna kill somebody, I've never heard like a lot of people, gangsters, and I've been around a few, scream, I'm gonna kill her. Nah, they just say it quiet, like, you know, mm -hmm. we're just gonna, we're gonna take care of that. You know, quietly, we're going to take care of that. You know, you, they don't have to scream and yell it. And it's like acting, you know, it's like you make choices. How, you know, if something's supposed to be real angry, I don't listen to what the writer says. I make my own choice how I would handle it under similar situations.